this is Aaron with Kixie, and we're going to be looking at the Kixie Power Call Dialer. To start, let's look at the user interface and settings. At the bottom left, you'll find the directory, which includes all of the agents on your account. At the top, you can filter by status, name and number, and the team. Clicking the arrow will initiate a transfer to the agent, the colored disk shows their current status, and clicking their extension will initiate a call to the agent. Here you'll find your call history. You can filter by name, number, uh, the type of call it was, and you can also see the time and date, the call length, and the call recordings, as well as a link to the CRM. The next tab over is your voicemail, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's your inbound voicemail box. The dial pad will take you to the main dialing screen. This is similar to how it was before, but it's important to note that the Do Not Disturb icon has now moved and is here at the bottom left-hand corner. When I Do Not Disturb, you'll see the top banner start flashing red. The next tab is the SMS history, which shows all of your recent SMS conversations along with filters, uh, call, SMS links, as well as a CRM link. Do so you look at the thread, just give it a click, and you'll see your conversation with that client. At the bottom, you can respond to the thread and also choose an SMS template. Another way of sending an SMS message is going to the dial pad, entering a number, and clicking send SMS. You'll see it's pulling the message that I had typed previously, but I can type in whatever I wanted to say right here. Lastly, on the far right is the power dialer icon, which we'll show you in another video. This is Aaron with Kixie, and today we are going to be talking about voicemail drops. Uh, voicemail drops are a great way to leave uh, extra information on your client's phone without having to constantly repeat yourself as you leave voicemail after voicemail after voicemail all day long. Uh, so the first thing we are going to do is navigate to the dashboard where we can find voicemail drops. I'm going to go ahead and create one. We're going to say test. You can upload an MP3 that is pre-recorded or record it now on the dashboard. We're going to say, hey, this is Aaron with Kixie. We've got this great new summer campaign running. Uh, it's a great deal. You're going to love Kixie. So much we can do for you. Of course, you can always leave your personal contact information like your phone number, your email, your website, uh, other ways to get in contact with you. You can customize these drops however you would like. Uh, for now, we're just going to leave it as is. Click Save and navigate back to the dialer once this actually processes. So that's added. Now I'm going to refresh the dialer to load this new information. So we're going to go ahead and start this call. All right, it's dialing through. So now we're listening to their voicemail message. Uh, I hear their message and I'm going to go down to voicemail drop and make my selection. Click submit and it's going to send that over to their phone. Uh, it's going to record that MP3 into their voicemail box, whereas I'm already on to my next call, which is a great time-saving technique. Um, it is important to note that there is a method to the madness when you're actually choosing your drop. Uh, you need to make sure you place your drop after the ringing has ended, but before you hear the beep that indicates, hey, you've recorded your message. Uh, you need to place the drop during your client's voicemail message itself. Again, so that's after the ringing, before the beep, during their message. And that's voicemail drops. Today we are going to be looking at SMS templates. First thing we're going to do is navigate to the kixie.com dashboard so that we can actually add one to our profile. We go to my profile, SMS templates, and at the top right click add. You name this first template. And here you can say anything you'd like. So we can start with hi boss, uh, but it's important to know we also have some autofill options. We can do F name for first name and bracket L name for last name. This will pull your client's first and last name from the CRM, though it is important to know that these autofill options are intended as follow-ups to prior outreach. If this is your first time contacting them and they haven't had a phone call that's synced with a CRM before, the information will not be in the dialer to pull that autofill information. So again, this is a very awesome way to have some follow-up information that's a little personalized, but is not intended to be your first contact with them. I'll go ahead and remove this and save it. With that new template on my dashboard, I'm just going to refresh the dialer to load that new information in and go to my SMS history. I'm going to open up the thread, select my template, and send away. And that's SMS templates. Hi, this is Aaron. 
of Kixie, we're going to take a look at call coaching on Kixie. To begin, go down to the directory at the bottom left hand corner of the dialer. We're looking for an active call indicated by the green disc to the left of the agent's name. Give the disc a click and listen in on the call. And we'll start listening in. Uh, neither the agent or the client receive a notification, so you can discreetly monitor your team. If you'd like to join the call as a full member, you can just click speak and all three parties will be able to hear each other. To leave speak, click mute and you're taken back out to the main menu where you can go to whisper. Whisper allows you to speak with just your agent without the client hearing you. So you can jump in, make a quick note and jump back out by clicking on whisper. And in the call coaching session, just click hang up. And that's call coaching. Bye.